This is day one, alternate shot action from the Cup 2019. Presented by Apollo Biomedical and Ryan Ansel Basketball. And proudly telecast on Bob Long Sports. And we say hello to our television audience. Welcome inside the broadcast booth. Well, the Cup 2019 is finally upon us. An idea spurned back at the 2018 Ryder Cup as a way to put two of the best amateur golfing institutions against one another in a 54-hole team match. Russ Golf Club out of Horsham, Pennsylvania, puts eight golfers on the tee here this weekend as they look to take down Bush League Open, a band of barnstorming golfers that go all around the country taking on some of the best terrain that this country has to offer. Now, there's a charitable element to this as well. Ruff's Golf Club representing City Year Philadelphia and Bush League representing the Men of LaSalle Scholarship. Over $2,700 was raised, and depending upon the outcome of these matches, it's going to determine how much money is going to be donated to each charity. So more than just pride on the line, a lot of do-good opportunity for these teams. How much money can they raise for their respective charities? And how much fun are they going to have? Let's go down to the tee and check out the opening tee shots as Ruffs and Bush League compete in the first annual Cup here in 2019. All right, this is the alternate shot format of the first annual Cup. First to the tee is Ruffs, Mike Krauss and Dan Gallagher. And Mike Krauss is first on the tee. Mike. <laughs> the 2019 Cup is underway. Wet. Right, there we go. <laughs> Next up on the tee for the Bush League boys, I DJ DeBracolier, playing with say. Tyler Dumphy, Esquire, JD, whatever they call you nowadays. Those Consiliere. shorts are short. Look at those thighs. Yeah, Pass DJ! Oh! <laughs> That's fine. Right. Better than being like over there. That's true. Ah. I really spent like two hours with my. Thanks, man. Yep, you're welcome. <laughs> now on the team. Driver, maybe. Or no. Jiggling. <laughs> oh. Mash. Join five. me. Five. <laughs> Join me. Five. <laughs> And all four groups are now off the first tee. Let's take a look at the pairings. Mike Krause, Dan Gallagher against DJ DeBracolier and Tyler Dunphy. This would be a match that would go back and forth all day. Kevin McLernan and Kevin Boswick against Benji Imo and Ryan Abbott. Corey Bayada and Kevin Long against Tom Jaquay, Anthony Caparizzo. This would prove to be a strong match, and then both teams backloaded their top team, Bob Long and Tim Anderson, on the rough side, taking on Rob Kelly and Ben Hankinson, two of the guys at the top on the Rush League side. This would be a spectacular match as well. And now let's take you through the first three holes. Mike Kraus and Dan Gallagher, a good start against DJ DeBracolier and Tyler Dunphy, Corey Bayada and Kevin Long, also two up against Tom Jaquay and Anthony Caparizzo. But it is Bush League taking two match leads. Ben Giamo and Ryan Abbott over Kevin McLernan and Kevin Boswick. And Rob Kelly and Ben Hankinson won each of the first two holes before Long and Anderson were able to take the par 3 third. The par 3 fourth is 161 yards dead ahead. Pin in the middle of the green. Good opportunity for these teams to get after this pin. And let's go down to our first pairing now on the par three fourth. Whoopsie. That was a beauty. That was 
And that's where Dunphy's ended up. Dan Gallagher and Mike Crass a little bit right and short of the green. And not Krause's best effort there. That'll come up short. Yeah. To Brackley, a nice out. Mud caked up on that ball. That'll move about eight feet from the hole. Now Dan Gallagher. That's the fourth for Ross, and that's going to leave a must-make putt. But Dunphy can end it here. That's way better than going out. Like right center, maybe? Gallagher needs to put this one in to keep the pressure. And a big one there for Gallagher. Now DeBracklear has to hit this one to win the hole. Curl and Dunphy not quite done with that one either. That hole is halved. And Dan Gallagher and Mike Krause stay two up. Here's Ryan Abbott on the tee. Hey, I like it. Nice. Oswick flares that one to the left. And we'll have to see what type of lie McLernan will get. Yeah, I can hit it. It might come right back at me, but we'll hit Alex. Oh. Play there from Benjimo. That'll set them up with a par look. Boswood clips that one out of the trap. And that'll run well by the hole. McLernan pops that one onto the green. That'll come up short. And this one's in concession range. And the hole has been conceded. So Bush League wins that hole. And Abbott and Giaimo go two up. Yes. Kevin Long on the tee for Ruffs. Oh boy. All right. All right. All right. All right. I had confidence in you. Here's Anthony Caparizzo for Bush League. Oh. And that one well left into the trees. Rapid fire here, and what a shot from Corey Bayada. You're going to see Jake Ways coming into the frame here shortly. And that's another very good shot. Tom Jakeway puts it in tight, and two very good par looks. Oh! Here's Kevin Long to win the hole for Ruffs. Missed that one on the low side. Always had to put that one higher. Jake way to put the pressure on Ruffs. That one will drop. And now a little knee knocker for Corey Bayada. Okay, cleans that one up. That hole halved and a good show of sportsmanship. Ben Hankinson now for Bush League Open. Good ball. That's a good looking ball. That's tracking right towards the front portion of the green. Tim Anderson for Ruffs. That one is clipped, came off thin. That one's gonna have to stay up and that'll roll off the back of the green. Bush League in a really good spot. Long has to put this close. That one will cuddle up to about three feet. Ruffs needed that one 
already down one hole. Kelly to win the hole for Bush League Open. That's good. That one conceded. Tim Anderson has to tuck this away from three feet to have the hole. Easy does it for Tim Anderson. And here's a look at the matches after seven holes. Next up is the par 4A, 365 yards. The play here is to put it out into the center of the fairway, about 240, 250 yards if you can, and then it's offset to the right. Have a blind shot into a green on the right with water all the way down on the left-hand side. Very interesting hole, one of the best holes on the layout at Fairways Golf Club. Let's check out the action. Dan Gallagher will lead it off for roughs. Three up in their match. That's a beautiful Clark. Nice. Oh, man. Tyler Dunphy's shot ended up in the left rough. And DJ DeBracklier to chop it out. Oh, no. Ho! That one hit the edge of the bank, popped up, and right into the middle of the fairway. Now Mike Krause from the right rough. And they're going to have some work to do from there, flirting with the left edge. Tyler Dunphy's third shot went towards the water as well, and the search is on. Gallagher and Kraus have found their second shot. This will be Gallagher's third. <laughs> to the chagrin of Alex Krastowski, it'll be a bunker shot up coming from Mike Kraus with his fourth. <laughs> Shit. Krause puts it onto the green, and that's a pretty good look. They'll be putting from there. Here's Dunphy's putt, this to win the hole. And a pretty good run there from Dunphy. DeBracklier should have no problem with that. Gallagher, a big putt. Blows that one by. Don't think they're going to be done from there. Krause puts that one in, but that's for seven. DJ DeBracklier would clean up that putt, and Bush League wins that hole. And they're now just two down. Kevin Boswick jaunting after his ball. We'll see what type of look they're going to have after that one. Ryan Abbott steps up to the tee on the par 4 eight. All right. And that one's dribbled up the middle. Should have no problem finding it, but it is a long way home from there. Kevin McLernan in a tough spot. 
He's going to punch that one out, and a good play. That will run just through the fairway, but no problem there. They'll have their third from about 200 yards away. Benjimo put Abbott in this spot, and this is their third. That one will run up the hill as well. But two shots now coming from out of the rough. This will be Ruff's third. Right in the sander. Right in. right in. Thank you to Alex Krastowski. Here's Benjimo with the fourth for Bush League. That'll come up just short of the green. Here's the fifth for Ryan Abbott. That one gave the hole a scare and will run by. Not a gimme by any means, but Abbott did his best to put it right at the hole and gave it a shot to go in. Kevin McLernan has a downhill line. This is going to be a tough shot in the trap. <laughs> Okay, this is getting interesting here as Boswick is set to take the fifth out of the trap for Ruffs. Again, clips it, doesn't take a lot of sand. That'll run by the hole. And both teams will be putting for six. Here's Benjiimo. Good run there, that one will likely be conceded, and Bush League is in for seven. This is Kevin McLernan to win the hole for Ruffs. What a fist pump! Kevin McLernan wins the eighth for Ruffs Golf Club, and that match is now all square as they head to the par three ninth. Kevin Long, iron in hand. Beauty. It's over them. That one sprayed right. Here's Anthony Caparizzo, soon to be a married man. And the co-captain for the Bush League Open along with Rob Kelly in the penultimate group. Ah, you. And not particularly happy with that one. A long way to go after that shot. Kevin Longshot got caught in the trees. And here's Corey Bayata. Woo! That's in the water. <laughs> in the water? Yep. Yeah, dude, it went just right along the edge, barely in the water. I didn't. I think it just went right into the water. Yeah. Yeah, I'll <laughs> do it again. <laughs> Good behind the scenes peek there from Alex Krastowski, getting some great video and audio. This is Kevin Long after the penalty shot, the fourth for Ruff's Golf Club. And that one, he drilled. Way long. I think I caught the three with my range finder. Did you? Corey Bayada hit that one too good. 
out in front of the green. And Bushleg, remember, is on here in three. Kevin Long goes high with the fifth shot here for Russ. Bush League solidly in control as Tom Jakeway rolls the putt. And that one should be conceded. Caparizzo will try to put it in anyways, but that putt was already conceded and the hole has been won by Bush League. So now just one up in that match for Kevin Long and Corey Bayata. Here's Ben Hankinson to lead the way for Bush League. All square through seven holes. That one ended up in the right trees. Tim Anderson. An aggressive line judging by his stance alone. That one rockets its way towards the trees and Looks to have gotten caught up okay. in the trees. Both teams are going to have difficult shots. Got to make sure not to get hit around here. No. Look at that swing. Yeah, it's a good here one. Here we are on a par 4-8 hole. Oh, oh, he's going to hit shit. along. That's not what you want to see. Nope. No. Can't see where it went. No, I have thing. no idea where no. it went. That one's just short and right. A good shot from Rob Kelly. All right, Alex. Next up is Bob Long here. Oh, have you been talking the whole time? No. I'm oh, not. smart. Nah, I'm just just adding a little commentary here. Right. Just some of the highlights. All right, Bob Long. There you go, Bob. 20, 2018 Ruffs champion yeah, here. Yeah, how about that, Shane? Playing for the cup, and the next month will look to defend his title as he that eyes rushed. out. He's the eye of the tiger right now. Hell Probably of a championship match through. last year, right, Shane? Oh man, that was something beautiful. Oh, oh, what a where shot. Where is it? Where'd he go? Huh. I don't know. Looks that like one's sit. A little hotter than he thought. Here's the third for Tim Anderson. Has a pretty good angle. Coming into the green. Hell of a shot. Now to give him about 25 feet to the pin. Hankinson with the third for Bush League. Came up a touch short, but they will be putting from there. Two long par looks for the top pairings on each side. This one will come down the hill, breaking from left to right. That has been conceded. And the next one for Rob Kelly is to win the hole. That one just caught the ridge and skidded by the hole. Ben Hankinson still has work to do for the bogey and to have the hole. Straight up the hill, four and a half feet away. Big putt there by Ben Hankinson, and this match remains all square. We'll take you now through 11 holes. These matches have tightened up considerably. Only Corey Bayata and Kevin Long with a lead up by three holes on Tom Jaquay, Anthony Caparizzo. The other three matches all square, and we're going to have a great finish. Let's take you now to the par 3 12th, 135 yards away. Tyler Dunphy off the tee, and that shot will come just about pin high off to the left. Going to have to fly that over a trap. Will be a difficult shot. Here's Dan Gallagher. Popped that one straight up into the air. That'll come up short of the green and work to do on both sides for the first groups out.
DeBracalier, what a shot. That green was running away from him. Only option he had was to bounce that in the rough to slow it down, and that's tremendous from the green side area. Oh! What an out. That'll do. Couldn't have said it better myself, <laughs> Mike Krause. He was trying to go after those geese for you. Yeah, thank you. A lot of work to do here for Mike Kraus, but first it'll be Tyler Dunphy with an opportunity to win the hole. This for par. And he left that one short. And Kraus for four. Ooh, could not quite get it to drop. It lipped out. And neither putt will be given. Both teams will putt this one out. Gallagher, for the moment, puts the pressure on Bush League. And DJ DeBracalier can win the hole with this putt on the par 3 12th. And DJ DeBracalier misses it on the low side. And certainly a missed opportunity for Bush League Open there. <laughs> Dunphy loves every minute of it, though. <laughs> Staying very positive throughout. Here's Ryan Abbott. The par 3 12th, 135 yards. And that one nearly took out some geese that were hanging out in front. There's the tail end of that one. That'll be right in the first part of that rough. Kevin Boswick for the Ruffs Golf Club. That one's hooking to the right-hand side. Woo! And that one's going to be in that grassy area there in front of those trees. A difficult shot upcoming for Kevin McLernan with the second. That one will skip forward past the pin, and it will stay on the green. A very long par putt upcoming for roughs. And here's Jaimo from that aforementioned rough. And a similarly long putt for Bush League. It'll be a putt off here on the 12th. Abbott for what would be one heck of a par. Okay, neither team in yet. Jaimo to put the pressure on Russ, and he drops it. Kevin McLernan, this would be to have the hole. And if he misses, Bush League would go up in the match. And that one wasn't even close. Not McLernan's best effort, so the putter taketh. And the putter gives. He hit the big one on eight, missed the shorty on 12. Kevin Long, a big chunk of earth as he pops that one up. And Caparizzo dribbles that one up the middle, advantage roughs. And Jakeway, a very good shot. That'll set up a makeable par putt for Bush League. It, yeah, it had some backspin on it and it just started rolling down the hill. It must have landed pretty far up. Yeah, we'll I, I turned around and started okay. walking backwards and <laughs> my ball was off the green. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, new rules you can put with the pin. Dude, it rolled quick, man. It was moving.
Bayana with the putter in hand. And that one is left well short. Now it'll be Bush League with the shorter putt for par. Kevin Long from 15 feet away. Ooh! Drops it in there, and Kevin Long puts the pressure back on Bush League. They're three up with an opportunity to go four up if Caparizzo does not make this putt. And that one will miss on the low side, and Ruffs goes up four after 12. This a tremendous match. Still all square. Back and forth they go. Oh, Folks, the drama is really picking up here. Here's Tim Anderson looking to answer. Oh, you got some good air this on that one. one. Is heading right, and that's going to end up in the trap, short and right of the green. Advantage Bush League. Bob Long caught that one a little bit clean, and that'll be long of the green. Tim Anderson will come up now with the third for Ruffs. And that also clipped too crisply, and back off the front of the green into the rough, it'll be Bob Long to chip the fourth. Not a great chip there, we'll set up about a 10-footer. Bush League fully in control. As here's Tim with the fifth. And a good putt there for Tim Anderson. Ben Hankinson can two putt for the win on this hole to put Bush League up a hole through 12. That'll be more than enough. All right, that's a wrap. Putt is conceded, and Bush League wins the hole, and they are now leading in that match. We're going to take you through 15 now as Ruffs was able to take control. Mike Krause and Dan Gallagher won their match 3-1. and one. Ben Giamo and Ryan Abbott took the momentum of hole number 12 and ended up winning that match 3-1. and one. And Tom Jakeway and Anthony Caparizzo made an impassioned charge to get that match from 4 down to just two down, but Corey Bayada and Kevin Long closed them out on the 17th. Bob Long and Tim Anderson were able to win two of the next three holes, and through 15, they lead one up on Rob Kelly, Ben Hankinson. We're now going to follow that match for the duration. Par 4, 16, 323 yards. Tim Anderson first for roughs, and that yes, is drilled bro. right down the middle. Oh, A piercing liner. Here's Hankinson looking to answer. That one is heading left, tracking towards the bunker, and will be in a fairway bunker about 80 yards from the hole. Bob Long will play first with the second. And that one will be a little bit long, about a 15-footer upcoming for birdie. Put some pressure on Rob Kelly and Bush League. Caught a little bit heavy, and that one comes up just a little bit short of the green. An opportunity to go up and in for par. It'll be Hankinson first to play, and he stubbed that one. Kelly will attempt the fourth. Kelly will roll that one onto the front of the green, but still a very long putt. And we have a concession. So Ruffs wins that hole. Bob Long and Tim Anderson go two up through 16 holes. And we'll now move to the par four 17th. Keep going. Get Bob Long shot cuts through some trees and ends up out near the 16th fairway. Not a great shot, but they will have a look in. Kelly and Hankinson are dormy on this hole. 
Kelly's ball starts down the right-hand side of the fairway and is turning over quickly, and that one is headed toward the water hazard. After a search for the ball, Ben Hankinson forced to hit from here after a drop. That one heads up into the trees. So after the stroke penalty, Hankinson is well short. Tim Anderson's second shot put roughs to there. Bob Long's third from kick in range. And that's the match as Bush League will concede that putt to Tim Anderson. And Ruffs has taken a three points to one lead through the opening morning session of alternate shot. Long and Anderson win that three and one. Krause and Gallagher and Bayada and Long pick up the other two points for Ruffs in the morning session. Ben Jaimo and Ryan Abbott, a solid performance and put Bush League on the board after the first four matches. And let's go down now to Bill Berger, who has post-round interviews with Rob Kelly and Bob Long. We're live after our first round here this morning. Uh, two team captains here. Uh, Ruffs came away with it. Uh, what do you think was the key to success? Well, let me first say it's a long... Coming out on top is uh, is a little too premature, obviously. It's a, it was a good opening morning session. Course played great. Uh, matches were all the way down to the end, Bill, and I think that that's going to be indicative of what we're going to see the rest of the weekend. Rob has brought a, a good group of guys along with Anthony, and uh, you know I just think this was a very competitive set of matches. That you know little swings here and there were the difference. Uh, happy with the start. More work to do on the rough side. Rob, what do you think? As a whole team, we can improve on. I like where we are. I like where we are right now. I know a couple of our matches were tight. We put up a fight. Um, I'm really proud of Ryan and Ben for, for eking that win out. It really keeps the momentum going for the boys, and we're going to turn it on this afternoon. 